Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel, and in today's video, I will be showing you how, get ready for it, I'm going to be showing you how to block, unblock everything on your school Chromebook. Now, the I will be showing you two different methods, and if these two methods, these two different methods might not work for everyone because of what the school might have done before, uh, beforehand or before I made this video but um, these two methods should work for most people um, so I'm gonna the first method is you go on a website on Google Chrome so you look up invited and you click the first link once you do that once you get here you create an account and it'll make you get a verification code and it'll be sent to your email and once you get your whole account set up then you can use this I already have an account because yeah um oh wait so once you sign in and get your uh, your free account it's there's no, it's free it's completely free no like verification or anything I don't know um but once you get your free account you go here and click create a room so I already had made one beforehand so I'm just gonna create a new one and then once this loads in this might not work but um, this is basically a Google meet combined with like a browser and once you load it in you can literally use this as a browser to look up anything so I'm just gonna look up games Normally, if you do that here, it's blocked. Now, if you look at it here, not blocked. All right? I'm just gonna click a random thing. Uh, Cartoon Network, why not? See, it works. Um, I'm not gonna play any games right now, but that's just one way you can do it. So the next way, you'll have to have the Google Play Store. You have to have the Play Store. Um, I'll try to see. This might. Oops. This is like. And this method is for Chromebooks too. I think. I don't know if you can have. Use this with the Chrome Web Store. I'm not completely sure. Hold on. Give me a second. Yeah. I don't think you can. But um, if you go to the Google Play Store. If you have this on your Chromebook. Uh, you click Class Dojo, you download this, and this, you might not have it on your Chromebook, so I'm sorry if it doesn't work for you, but if you have this app um, available to you on your Chromebook, then you can go ahead and download that. And if it doesn't show up on, this, uh, on the home screen, um, just try to look it up and see if it's on there. Um, but if you go to Class, you used to be able to do this with Kahoot, but Kahoot got, got, got taken down on my Chromebooks because people were using it to unblock everything. Um, if you click install and you let this download, eventually it'll download and I'll open the app and I'll show you what to do from there. Alright, so I'm just waiting for this to load. It's at 58%. I had already downloaded this previously, but just to show the steps, I'm go I deleted it and I'm just going to re-download it now. Alright, it's almost done downloading, so, let's see, oh yeah, I forgot, people actually like use this for school. <laughs> Alright, come on now, come on, install, it might take a little bit, oh, here it goes. So once it installs, you click open, and you open the app, and once this screen shows up, you know, um, this screen will show up once you open it. And the first step you let you'll do is you click I'm a teacher right here. Then you'll click create teacher account. And then you can click either one of these terms of service or privacy policy. When either one works. And you go there. And once you get here, you go up here and click get the Android app. Then you click these nine dots up here in the top right corner. 
of the screen. Click that, go up here to the top right corner of this right here and click Google search. And there you go. So now I, everything is unblocked. Um, also, if you go to the privacy policy or terms of service again, and you find something that has a sentence where it says GitHub, has this sentence pretty much. Um, I think I can click this and go to GitHub. Yep. You can, if you find, so if you find a sentence that has the word GitHub in it, then you can just, see, if it's this sentence right here and has the word GitHub, you click that link right there. This is another way to get to it. And you search Google. Wait, hold on. What did I do? Hmm? Confused. Oh, there we go. All results on GitHub. Okay. Let me try this again. So you go to the privacy and terms. Go to that GitHub thing. Look up Google. And then you want to click all results. View all results on GitHub. You click the top one. You click C topic right here. And then you click the middle link and it goes to Google. So that's another way to get there. Um, I'm not sure if you can sign in on this though. I don't know. I'm not going to do it though because, you know, I don't want to show you my email on YouTube. You know, that's my personal information. Um, I'm just going to X out of that. So that's how you do it. That's how you can unblock everything on your Chromebook. And if you really do want me to prove it, I guess I'll prove it right now. Uh, where did that go? All right, I'm just going to put this down here. So go to Class Dojo. I'm a teacher. Create teacher account. Privacy policy or terms of service. And the, the method that I prefer using is to get the Android app. Click those nine dots in the top right corner. Click Google search in the top right corner. And bada bing. So, for example, Crazy Games. That's a website that's usually blocked. And every once in a while, they'll find a way to block stuff in this browser. But usually it won't be blocked. Like now. There you go. It's unblocked. Now, I will have to say that there is one problem with this. Actually, two. One, it's it's pretty laggy because it's already in a different app. It's literally games in a different app that it, that's not meant for games. So it's going to be a little laggy um, for some games. It's going to be pretty la It's going to be lag. Some games are laggy than others. Also, if you close your if you close your Chromebook, not completely turn it off, but just close it without pressing anything, um, and you still have this open, it'll automatically close. Now, if you minimize it and then close it without turning it off, it it'll probably stay open. But um, yeah, that's just one. That's just a few ways you can unblock everything on your Chromebook. Um, it, tell me, tell me in the comments if this was useful for you. Um, if you found this interesting, um, whatever, leave a like and subscribe. You know, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. I hope this really does help you. If you want to unblock everything, and uh, have a good one, guys.